So I've modified my application a little bit. Let's just uh, talk about what's going on here. So I'm going to be optimistic and assume that I'm going to be able to, in some way, capture session information. So I'm creating a, a, a pretty naive solution here where I've got some middleware in here. And eventually we're going to fill this out. But right now I'm just creating this session object. And what I'm going to do here is that we'll come back to this route in a second. But if we look at this route, we're going to make it in here. And I'm just going to ask the question, hey, look, is there a user on this session? And if there is a user, I'm going to show their name and their favorite word. And if there's not, I'm going to do this naive login form, which will allow me to log in as one of two users again. Um, eventually, you'll end up having a username and password, and you'll have to pass in some credentials uh, in order to do this. Um, so right now, um, no matter what I do, if I refresh this, uh, I always come back to the same page. Even though I do have this route, and if I look at this route, it is getting me the user, and it is putting it on this session object. The only problem is that when you end up logging in and you end up redirecting to another page with every new request, I basically lose that information uh, every time. So there's no persistence. And that's really what the problem is. That's the problem that we're trying to solve. And we do see we do have the users at some point, but then we redirect and the next request to the page, we don't end up having them. And so, you know, eventually what we want to end up having, and if we just went over here, and we said the request.session.user is going to be equal to users mo. We would uh, you know, want to see this information about mo. And if we went over here and uh, Lucy had passed in her credentials, whatever they were, she would see information about Lucy. And so this is what we're going to end up trying to solve. And the key will be how do we end up establishing this session? And this is where we're going to end up taking a look at cookies and send a little piece of information that will basically uh, allow us to persist. Because when we end up setting a cookie, that cookie will end up getting sent on the next request. And that's going to help us identify who the user is or what their session is.